With every headline, it's starting to seem like AI is taking over the world. But can an AI do real math? In fact, AI projects like Dolly 2 have caused such a fervor in the art community where many artists are going on strike in protest of something that they feel produces art with no heart, and if used irresponsibly, can cause many artists to lose their jobs. Art isn't the only place where we're seeing some publicly available AI creep in. We also have ChatGPT, which is a very sophisticated chat AI that can do everything from have a nice conversation with you to writing whole essays and scripts. For instance, you can ask it to write you a whole essay on the mathematician Paul Erdős and it does a convincing job. I mean, it hits on all the right notes, it talks about his nomadic lifestyle, it mentions his large number of publications, Ramsey theory, and even Erdős numbers. Though Erdős numbers were placed right next to number theory, so that's a bit strange, but no more strange than what I've seen coming from students. I can see that how this would be a nightmare for English professors, where your students can simply sign on to chat GPT and have whole essays written for them. It might not be an A-level essay, but it might be good enough to get a passing grade. But what about math? Could chat GPT actually prove a theorem? Do my homework? I gave it the most basic theorem I could think of. One where the solution is well documented and goes back more than 2000 years. You know, the infinite to the primes. I was actually surprised at how good it did. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is how the proof breaks down. It, it's really simple. You assume by way of contradiction that there are finitely many primes, say P1 through Pn, then you take their product and call it P, and we look at the number that comes after that, uh, P plus one. Since all of P1 through Pn divide P, that means that P plus one has a non-zero remainder for each of those primes. Then either P plus one is prime, or it isn't, and if it isn't, then it must have a prime factor. That prime factor can't be in our list, so it's a new prime factor that we didn't have in our list. And that's a contradiction. This is a proof that Euclid gave us in his elements, roughly 350 BC. Now, there are a ton of proofs of the infinite to the primes, some using topology, some using infinite series, and other methods. How did chat GPT do? Let's see. This isn't horrible. It's not correct. But you can see the influence that Euclid's proof is having here. We see a p and a p plus 1 in consideration, but since p isn't actually the product of primes, there's nothing that would make p plus 1 prime or have a new prime factor. In fact, chat GPT took P itself to be the largest prime. So that means it's odd and P plus one is even and is actually divisible by two. Uh, two isn't a new prime factor here. This is roughly what I would expect to receive from a student that kind of understood what was going on, but didn't really get it. It's D C work, uh, depending on the professor. Many of the right elements are in there, but it's missing a logical structure that's needed to really give a proof. Now, let's hear what ChatGPT gives us when we ask it to prove this sarcastically. Okay, it's actually much further from the right answer than the first response, but you really have to appreciate the sass in here. I mean, it's not like there are countless examples of ancient civilizations and mathematicians throughout history who have grappled with this question and come up with rigorous proofs. No, no, let's start from scratch and come up with a sarcastic proof that the primes are infinite. Now, there are automatic theorem provers out there, but those are professional tools that require a good amount of computer science to know how to use effectively. But this AI, which is available to pretty much anyone with a cell phone, doesn't look like it's solving your homework problems for you yet. All right, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you liked this video, then please drop a like and consider subscribing. In any case, I hope you have a great day. And if you're watching in December, Happy holidays.